finally we can begin recording again welcome back to my channel and welcome to our 19th let's play and we're doing Gregory Horror Show yeah I've been, I've been wanting to do this for so long but unfortunately as we all know there's been a lot of a lot of things been going on in the world such as the the virus and a lot of just a lot of things in general so filming and getting any time to do anything is just has been very restricted to say the least but now I've finally got some time things are settling down a little well we're getting there but uh, I know a lot of people have, have died during this virus hey! we come here well, a lot of people have died during this virus so my sympathies to everybody who has been affected and who has been whose lives have been lost but unfortunately the road or the path has to continue so as I was saying before we are on our 90th let's play we're playing Gregory Horror Show a Capcom game made in 2003 where we need to collect some souls from people inside of a house inside of a, a hotel so we won new game the first night in Gregory House I found, found myself, myself walking, walking through, through a, a deep, deep forest, forest in a thick fog. How, How did, did I get here? here? I should, should have been, been home by now. Suddenly, I saw a bright light before me. It was the hotel. Do you need a room for the night? Now, God, Gregory, my. you certainly do look exhausted, <laughs> don't you? Well, then he, I'll he, get a room a ready for you. I think he's a mouse. Or he's a rat. Please enter your name on the registry. Okay. As you you probably already seen this start, but anyway, because I posted the uh, first bit, there's like a little preview to what's to come. So if I put it in again, yeah, I'm a male, I think. Right this way, if you don't yep. mind, I'll be happy to show you to your room. I must say, we don't often receive guests at this hour. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I don't know part of this either. It's spooky shit. Perhaps you've somehow managed to lose your way. Or, oh, uh, or maybe you just lost your mind. That was a joke. <laughs> God, this guy, this guy is nuts. Have a pleasant sleep, my friend. You'll be needing it, believe me. <laughs> I wouldn't want to stay in a hotel, in a hotel with this guy telling you you're gonna need some sleep because you're fucking gonna need it. <laughs> oh my God, this is cat. There's a picture of a cat. And so I fell into a deep sleep. Now a male voice. And began to dream. I'm dreaming. Come on now, throw away all <laughs> that Forget about him. <laughs> It's Swedish death! <laughs> I can tell you ain't from around these parts. Hey, what's the deal, bud? Are you lost or something? No, I'm Not dreaming. Listen, you kid. You can tell me. What? You can't get He's got no ears. Hmm. Okay, how's about I make you a little deal? See, my job is removing lost souls. The kind of looks like and spawn. <laughs> That hotel is full of lost souls, what needs to be removed right away. hoo -ah! If you go in and find them, I'll show you the way back. There goes the spawn. I even got some body you can use. It's a little small, but hey, what you gonna do, right? When you find them all, come see me again in your dreams. You got that? See you later, pal. Yeah, I think I think if you first time watching this or play, playing it, you're thinking, "What in the hell is going on now?" <laughs> I 
Ah, yes. A co uh, right, before we actually continue, there is a couple of things about this game. Firstly, there unfortunately is a slight error in the audio. It's not just this ROM. If you watch other people's Earth Balances and stuff, you will hear that uh, when the when characters speak or make sounds like that, or like certain, I think items do it as well. The the last part of what they say or the noise is repeated just just at the end twice. It's it's gonna be it's gonna have to be one of them things or you just there's nothing you can do about it. I'll try and avoid it if I can, like like try and get to the next dialogue as quicker. But yeah, I I'm not gonna be able to fix that one because it's just part of the ROM. It's just that's how it is. I've looked it up and everything. It's just it's been like this for years, so this is the best we can do. Also, again, as as I always say in these let's plays, I am recording live, so if anything happens, I will edit them out, or if any noises or whatnot that goes on, I do apologise in advance. But hopefully everything runs smoothly, because, but like I said, I haven't recorded for ages, so please bear with me as in the first few episodes and that, while I do this, and then I'll be doing the um, Half-Life series with this one, so we'll try and do two at the same time. I don't know how it's going to go, I've never done that before, but you never know, you got to try it first. So anyway, basically, what 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 is just to sum up what's going on here? I've somehow found my way into Gregory House, uh, which is just like a stuff. It's it's just mystery, and the only way out is by well, like you said, we made an agreement with Death that we need to get the souls from the hotel and give it to him. Now there's going to be. Oh, there's, there's a certain amount of guests and each one holds one soul so we then have to using using techniques and like uh, ways to get uh, to panic or etc etc to drop the soul we then need to give the death but I'll explain a bit more as we go on but uh, I hear an ear shrieking shriek ear splitting shriek rather from the room next door and this is my room, and I have a body. I can punch the bed. The bed is cold and uh, featureless. So this is my room, and I have no windows because <laughs> they fucking boarded up. Holy shit! Uh, I can't actually look at my statuses yet because I need to do the first part. It looks like I could hang something here. It looks like a tr it looks like a fishbowl to me. I mean, what is that? Is that a vase? Looks like I can store books and items. But yes, this is me. I am like a cardboard boy. I can actually peek the doors as well by holding the triangle. Mm. <laughs> Every window is mm. like boarded up. Yeah, this place is not a good place. I tell you now, this is not a good place to be. I'm yeah, especially so when you hear that. Hungry. Oh, I didn't make the audio there. Yep, here we go. So triangle is to peek. By peeking through a keyhole, you can see into a room. You can use the triangle to peek into other places too. Press square to knock, which is which is what I did on the bed. Knock whatever is in front of you. You can use it to knock on doors. I don't have a map, but this is this is the main hallway. A lot of uh, stuff is gonna hang around, and this is a big door. Let's lock. And there's a soul. That that blue thing is what we're after. The one who moved in next door yesterday, aren't you? Aren't see, see what I mean by the audio. It was. It, I, I, I wonder how that actually happens, but it, 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 we're just gonna have to go with it in this round, unfortunately. I'm... I need to talk to you. Yes. Go get the key that's on the counter in the lobby and bring it here. Bring it. Okay. But yeah, that that that, that blue thing is the soul we want. The lobby. Just go straight and turn left at the end of the hall. Thank you. Yep, yeah, I haven't played this game for like... I'm trying to think, it's been, it must be about 13 plus years. Like, it, it must be around 13, 15 years. Because it's been, it's been so long. But I do remember a lot about it. But some of it I, I obviously haven't remembered, but uh, I do remember the, 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 the layout and some of the quirks and some of the guests, but some of them I actually don't recall. Right, here's Gregory. Key to the room next door? Cat that inhabits. 
Besides, that room is the last remnant of a family that once caused us a great deal of trouble. A most dangerous cat indeed. It was once a beautiful creature with fine silky fur. And one stormy night long ago, a moon sewed everything shut. Eyes, mouth, ears. Poor ear thing. <laughs> he got tortured. Also, you can tell it's a Capcom game because look, every Capcom game is a shiny object like in Resident Evil. Of course. Oh, what a horrible thing. Since then, he's been a nasty beast that attacks anyone who draws near. As the manager of this hotel, I simply cannot allow you to have that key. At Tough titties, I'm gonna get that key, sucker. Oh, is it 12.30 a.m. already? Well, then, There's the clock. I guess it's about time I made the rounds of the hotel. The daily routine of a Gregory house. Yes, each guest has their own routine. As we say here, each resident of the hotel follows his or her daily schedule. Sometimes knocking on your opponent's... Uh, sometimes knowing your opponent's schedule is the key to achieving your objective. And you can do that by this. I think. I think the way you do that is if they have conversations, or they talk to themselves while doing that activity, and you, and you listen to the whole thing, it will register in the uh, book that you get. Oh, I'm actually trying to uh, zoom in. That's nice. All right, Gregory's off. Give me the key. Mine. I found my thumb. I've got a key. Key item. See, you made the noise there for the item as well. Bad luck, E. Key item went key items are tools that you can carry around wherever you go, such as padlock key. You can they can help you escape when you're in a pinch. Use key item X bomb. There are other key, key types of key items too. Door is locked, god damn it. The door leads outside the hotel, no matter how much I push and pull, it won't budge, because he won't let me out. He wants to keep me in here and um, take my soul. I can't go upstairs either at the moment. I think I think that's uh, night two. Just leave the first floor alone for now. I should explore the ground floor first, which makes sense. You get you will as the, as the nights go on, you do, you do get more access to parts of the hotel. I think the ground floor is the uh, first night only. Gregory, all right. I can't I can't peek right now or open the door because he's here. And uh, if I do that, he'll go. He will take the key off me. I'm pretty sure he does. All right, take off you rat. Use the padlock key. I didn't really because I just opened the little lock, but the padlock's, the padlock's still there. Oh, I remember that sound of that door. Soul! I'm so hungry. Is it dinner yet? Yep, it's a cat that's a zombie Maybe with everything sewed up. So, yeah, this is Nico Neko Zombie. God damn, they literally sewed everything. Jesus. Name is Neko Zombie. Do you think I'm scary? No. I don't need your sympathy. Oh, Jesus, I'm trying to be nice, you asshole. <laughs> are you ready, Aaron? Yes! Let's go! Guests in this hotel are planning to keep you trapped here for all eternity. Yes. Yep. Also, I've just noticed this with the text. You can see these weird little lines here. I don't, I don't know if that's part of the original game or it's just the ROM, but it's weird how they've got these little lines in there. But oh well. They're not going to give up their souls that easily. Well, tough titties. I'm gonna get them. I will collect those souls. I have to what? Have to know their weak points if you want to get those souls back. Yeah, this is this is this is the uh, this is the part where he explains uh, how to get them all. We I think we get the we get his soul. We like this is a tutorial. He's getting his soul, and then we move on and move on, and it gets harder and harder with each night. First, you've got to scope out their weak points without them noticing. Yeah, this is all about the dialogue and that. I will practice peeking. Go out into the hall and look through the keyhole. Okay. I don't know why, but I always, I always wished when I always wanted one of them blue souls. I always wish I had one of them floating around. Like it's, I don't know. I like it. It's so cool. Wish I had one. You ready? Then go ahead and try peeking into my room. 
Okay. Hello. You see me? Yes. I'll tell you about my weak point. Yes. My weak point is food. Food. You have to figure out on your own what my favorite food is. Oh, I remember your favorite food, amigo. I remember you. If I'm, I remember you. It's chocolate. I remember that. We've got to figure it out first. Here's the clues. I'm hungry. I want to eat something sweet. I want to eat something that's not too cold. I wish I had some dessert. I mean, chocolate. I mean, you mainly use for dessert, but you could also have it. It's got. He's literally tied up, the poor thing. Like he's, oh no, he's not. Okay, now try and guess what I was talking about. Easy banana. No ice cream. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, but it's cold. Lemon. What the fuck is that? You got for dessert? No. Chocolate? Yeah. Mobile phone? No. It's chocolate. Dessert that's sweet and not too cold. Chocolate. Yo, my favorite chocolate. It. Here, I'll give you this. This. He's like, down, so. This what you're talking about? Talking. Yep. And apparently the the bottle just appears. <laughs> the, the bottle the, the bottle just comes out of nowhere. It's like yeah, there you go. There's a free bottle. This you can store fairies in that shit. Time ago. Here, you can have it. I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> look at my face. I look like I have no I have no soul. It's like what? <laughs> There's no expression on this thing. Give me. I think I smile here. There we go. That's a bit of an expression. See, I don't have a soul blue thing washed around my head. That sucks. Twelve souls in all you must find. Okay, twelve. Each of the guests in this hotel is carrying one. Correct. We've got we've got one. We need eleven more. What is a lost soul? The souls who live here are made of drifting hearts and faded hopes. You do better to be careful, or you may end up the same. That's why I mean, Captain. To escape from their insectable pain, the residents of Gregory House have chosen a life of endless wandering. They love to see other people suffer, so you better look out for yourself. Oh yes, this is a wonderful hotel. They took the lost souls without permission from the original owner. And who is this original owner? There's no need for you to worry about that. Tell me! It's a place to soothe your tired soul, yes. Which we'll find out soon enough. Just what a kind of place it is. How are you planning to deliver those souls back to death? I see. You're going to meet him in your dreams? Oh yes. In that case, you should sleep on the bed in your room if you want to hand the souls over to death. Oh yes. Swedish death. Yeah, punch the bed again. <laughs> should I get some sleep? Yes. I love how games they do that. They, you sleep on the bed, but they don't oh, even put the quilt or everything on them. It's Give just like it jump on, dumb. Throw away all them worries. Sweet as death. Oh, it's you. Did you manage to pick up any souls? Yep. Bing. Brought me a lost soul already? Well, that sure was quick. Okay then, hand it over like we agreed, like we... There you go. Hey, thanks a lot. Here, I'll stamp your card for you. Your card. Boom. Keep finding them and bringing them back to me. Back to me. So each night basically there's three. So you've got the stamp, then you have another stamp, then another stamp. Whenever you get one, go to sleep and I'll catch up with you in your dreams. Good luck there, buddy! Thank you! <laughs> I wonder how glitchy he's gonna get me. There you go, there's all the there's all the guests. We don't know him yet because he hasn't turned up. Nico Zombie though has been done. 
Huh? There's a letter on the pillow. I have something important to tell you. Come to my room when you wake up. Neko zombie. Yeah, I don't think they want to be sleeping and like a, a, a zombie, like stitched up cat is going to walk in and put it on my pillow so I look at him and say, Yes, good. Yes. I may have nibble on you. I wonder what it could be. Well, he wants to see me. Let's go. Hello. You sleep well. I've got to talk to you about you know what. You know. I don't know. You better tell me this. No, Catherine. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes, it's Catherine. I remember you. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Oh. <laughs> and loves to draw blood from people she doesn't like. Yeah, this this someone if you're afraid of needles or blood or anything, she's probably the worst person you'll ever want to meet because she loves she's got a massive needle, she carries it all the time and she will drain the shit out of you as soon as she catches you. So yeah, so this is she is scary. It's two doors down from me in room one oh four. Somebody's listening. Oh, I'm this shit. Catherine <laughs> I've just size that needle. I heard that. No, oh, she's got a soul, you can see it. That child is collecting souls. I think it's time for a blood sample. Sa no, nope, you stay well away from me with that thing. Guess it won't be that easy to collect the souls after all. After all. No, nope, never is. There's some hints about how to go about getting people's souls. Oh. Okay, thank you. By the way, that music that we're just playing there, it's, 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 I think it's called Suspicion, so if you make a noise or anyone sees you, the, that plays. And some peeking. When you peek at someone, you can often catch them talking to themselves. Listen closely on what, what they're saying. It's a good source of information. Alright, how to avoid being seen. The guests here react to the sounds of footsteps and doors opening. These sounds will give you away. If you think someone's going to hear you, just stay quiet for a while. Makes sense. You see those blue flames that hover around the guests here? That means they're carrying a soul. See, this is what this is what this is what bugged me. Like, the blue flame comes on when you how you carry one, but when I do it, I don't get one. I was wondering when I thought that was wrong. If someone makes a remaster of this game, please let me have a blue flame. That'd be so cool. If you don't see that flame, it means they must have put their soul somewhere else. Which is clever, which actually a few guests do that. If you find it, it's yours for the taking. Knocking on doors, face the door and press square to knock. If you knock on the door, when there's someone in their room, that person will come out to see what's going on. Got it? Thank you. And now we can have, finally have a look at the main menu. So we've got my name. Yay, it's me. We have the padlock key, and then we have the hanky, which is a scarlet hanky you've been holding onto since you arrived. It's actually in my back pocket if you watch me run around. So we've got key we've got items, which is shown in the grid here. We've got key items, which is shown in the uh, separate grid. We've got souls, so we can see all the, the souls. So basically, it's first night is Nico Zombie, Catherine. Uh, I think it's called Judgment Boy is that one and then we've got night two which is that one that one, that one. night three and night four and then we've got options load game return and then also with this game you also have a status effect called well it's basically called condition so you have tiredness you have a headache you have nervousness confusion melancholy and darkness but I will, I will get like a health bar at some point. It goes around. I think I don't get it for the first night. But uh, for those that are, who are not sure what melancholy means, I'll get Alexa to uh, to uh, describe for you. Alexa, what is melancholy? The noun calling is usually defined as the act of a person or thing that calls. What? <laughs> that, no, Alexa, you son of a bitch! You're throwing me out. Malak Malakoli oh how did you, oh damn it Melacholy Melak 
Coley. I think it's what he's. Alexa, what is melancholy? According to Wikipedia, melancholia is a mental condition characterized by extreme depression, bodily complaints, and sometimes hallucinations and delusions. Melancholia is a concept from ancient or pre modern medicine. Melancholy was one of the four temperaments matching the four humors. There you go. <laughs> so it causes delusion and depression, basically. <laughs> Thank you, Alexa. Although I don't know what you said about the first time. I do have a map, I think. Which button is that now? Uh, okay, which, which button was the map? Uh, is it options? No. Oh, I don't have a map, that's why. I thought I had a map. Oh god, James. This is so awesome. You just dumped a banana, you dirty bastard. Ames, you nasty child! Stop throwing your garbage on the floor! I'm actually surprised he didn't actually he's not too bothered I walked out the door. Had an accident. An a Hint. Where's that brat? James! The one who has to clean up all of your messes. Also, it looks like it notices it. The, the, the start there, the, the uh, text they also does that as well. Oh, I need to speak to Gregory for the map. Of course, I do. If I could find him. But actually, you know what I'll do? I think I'll end this episode here. Because I want, I, want, I want to go over it and just see everything's working okay. Because, like I said, I haven't done this for a while. So, I hope everybody enjoyed the first episode. Obviously, it's going to take some time for, for the things start to get flowing. But uh, hopefully, everyone's going to grasp the situation where, where we've got to do in this game. So, basically, we've got to collect all 12 souls to actually escape the hotel. Because they don't want me escaping. So, each guest has one soul. And we need to find the trick in order to get them to drop it. Now, as you saw with Nico Zombie, he gave it to us, but with the other ones, they will not. So, the, the, what you saw there with James with the banana is a hint for what you have to do with Catherine. So, basically, you got to find the banana piece, drop it, and, she, and I believe she slips, and then she drops the soul. So, basically, you get little hints like that, and that's how you get the soul. But also, uh, once you do, it won't happen with Neko Zombie. But once you do collect their soul they if they see you they will chase you down and more or less kill you yeah <laughs> and you know what Catherine's gonna do with that needle so if she catches me after I did that soul she's gonna shank the, she's gonna stab the shit out of me with that needle and drain every bit of blood I'd have so let's, let's not fucking do that shit but anyway I'll, I'll explain a bit more when we to get the map and then the next episode, but if you did enjoy the first episode of Gregory's Horror, Gregory Horror Show and me going through it, then please do give this video a like, comment if you have anything to say in the comment section below, and subscribe if you did enjoy this video, or enjoy any of my previous series. Like I said, I've done 19 of them, it's not bad for a small, small part-time uh, YouTuber, I suppose I can call myself. But, um, like I said, you don't have to do any of that. Watching for five minutes is always greatly appreciated because, like I said, small YouTuber. I, I don't get paid for this shit. I do it for fun. And if people enjoy it, then it makes me happy. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in episode number two where we will be going after Catherine's soul. And hopefully not getting uh, shanked by that big needle. Fuck that shit. Bye now.